Okay, we're going to construct and interpret a confidence interval estimate of a population mean. Um, the sample mean is actually the best point estimate or single value estimate of the population mean. But we're going to create a confidence interval which is, uses some sample data to construct and interpret a confidence interval um, estimate of the true value of a population mean. Okay, so here's an example. Here are summary statistics from a randomly selected weights of newborn girls. N is 229. The mean of the sample was 28.7. The standard deviation of the sample was 6.9. And construct a confidence interval estimate of the mean using 98% confidence level. Are the results very different from the confidence interval 27.4 to 30.4 with only 19 sample values? And this as a mean, and this as a standard deviation. Okay. Well, there's two requirements we also check right away. Basically, we need to know if it's normal. It has to be normal. Okay. And we're looking, um, I'm not seeing any information that it's normal. Okay. But they're giving us the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, so there's two things we have to check here. We gotta make sure it's normal or that the uh, number of items in the sample are greater than 30. So here as we're looking I don't see anything said about normal but I do see my n is 229 so that's well above 30 so we're passing this test of normality and we need to go to the next one. Now this determines the test we're going to do. We either do a z test or a t test. A lot of times you don't know the sample or the excuse me the population standard deviation so you're using a t-test. The few times that you do know the standard deviation of the population, you use a z-test. So here I see no population standard deviation, which is more common. So we'll be using a t-test on this. Okay. If it's not normal, if this was not normal, which they don't talk about, and we had n is less than 30, then we can't use either method, and we'd need like bootstrapping or a non-parametric method to, to give us any information but we do have a t-test here. So what is the confidence interval for the population mean mu? Okay, well, this is going to be a stat crunch item. We go to stat crunch, and in stat crunch we have a t-stats, and we have one sample here, and we don't have data, we just have the summary. Now we just put our information in here and click confidence interval. So our sample mean is given, 28.7. Our standard deviation is given as 6.9 and our sample size is 229. Now we're doing a confidence interval at 98 percent. And compute. This will give us our lower limit and our upper limit. And so we can see we have 27.63 or 27.6 and 29.7 6 rounded up to 29.8. So mu is between 27.6 and 29.8. If you knew the population standard deviation, we would go into the z stats and do one sample with summary. Okay, we'll try one of those in a moment. But that's it for this problem here. And now it says, are the results between the confidence intervals very different? 27.6 with 27.4 and 29.8 with 30.4. They aren't very different, right? No, because the confidence intervals are very similar. So that's this problem. Okay, here's another problem. It says salaries of 37 college graduates who took a statistics course in college have a mean of 65,800. Assuming a standard deviation, that's a population standard deviation, of 15,014 construct a 95% confidence interval for estimating the population mean. So here we're one of those rare times where we have a standard deviation of the population. So they give you both the t-distribution table and the normal distribution table but we're actually going to use StatCrunch so we don't need those tables. You can use those tables if you want but the StatCrunch makes it a lot easier so you don't have to go through all the work. Okay so basically here we're checking our normality Nope, it doesn't say that, right? But it does have n greater than 30, so 37. Is the population standard deviation present? Yes. We're using a z-test. There's the standard deviation of 15,014. So I'm going into StatCrunch, 
and I'm going to my Z stats. It's one sample again with summary. The sample mean, 65,800. The standard deviation, 15,014. And the sample size is 37, with a confidence interval of 95%. And then we can just compute it. We get 6. 60,962, but this says round to the nearest integer, so and that's what it would be then, because the 2 down here just rounds down. 70,637.7 round up. 70,638. So the mean would be between these two monetary values. Okay, so it's important to check your normality first, and that's important. It has to be normal or above 30. And then you want to check to see if the population standard deviation is present, which is not a normal thing. It doesn't happen a lot. We usually have to use the t-test. And then if neither of them are normal, or excuse me, if, if it's not normal or less than, and n is less than 30, then you're going to have to use a different method, which comes later. Okay? Have any questions? Let me know.